Yo, what is going on guys? My name is, of course, Jad, and welcome back to another video. So today's video is another Fortnite-related video. A lot of people have recently been experiencing very big lag spikes and very big, like, FPS increases and decreases in certain areas of the map. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix and stable your Fortnite so you never get any lag spikes again. If this guy, if this video was useful, please hit the like button, make sure to comment if it did work, and let's see how it does. So let's go. So, the main thing you want to do is you want to go into your NVIDIA control panel. By doing that, you go to your desktop, right click, and then NVIDIA control panel. Once that has loaded, you'll see that on the screen right here, and you can see it says manage 3D settings. The global settings are all right here, and you'll just restore them so they're all set to default. Make sure everything is default and nothing has been changed. And then you want to go down where it says open GL rendering. You want to just put it straight to your GeForce 1060, which I have, which is a 3 gigabyte. Whatever you have, you change it to, just to make sure that it's always going to use your graphics card. And that's basically it on this side. So that is all you have to do onto the NVIDIA control panel. Next, you want to load up your GeForce, so you go to settings, open up GeForce Experience, and take, turn, off, turn off Instant Replay. If you want to have Instant Replay on, you can, but again, that can sometimes cause minimal FPS like decreases. So make sure that is off if you don't want to have any of that weird stuttering, because sometimes it will stutter and the gameplay will lag, and so will Fortnite. So that if you turn that off, again, that can greatly reduce the chances of you having an FPS drop. The third one is to actually open up the GeForce. So you want to go to your taskbar at the bottom and type in NVIDIA GeForce Experience. So you open up GeForce Experience and when the actual application has loaded, let me just drag it onto the screen. Here we go, we have all of our games that can be optimised. You can either optimise Fortnite, you want to optimise it on your own. You can either do that in the settings of the game or you can optimise it on GeForce. I recommend up, like optimising it when you're actually in the game. And I'll show you all of my settings to show you which ones can definitely make sure you're never going to have lag again. You want to go to the home and go to drivers. If your drivers are perfectly fine, then obviously you don't need to do them. But sometimes they're going to say GeForce Game Ready Driver and it's going to say download. So as you can see here, it's saying download. So I'm going to do that right now just on the video for you to show you that once you do this, it's never going to lag again. Okay, so you can, as you can see right here, the GameForce driver has done 99% and is downloaded. Once that is done, you want to just install it, and it will ask you if you want to do an express installation or custom installation. Which one do an express? Doing this ex express installation basically means that we're going to have the install done as the recommended settings. Express just means what NVIDIA does recommend to us to install. Or custom installation is different parts of the drivers you can install separately if you have better drivers for other things. Preparing to install. Right, so the install has actually started. It's now uninstalling the 3D vision drivers, uninstalling the graphics drivers. Now you can see it is now installing the graphics drivers and this basically ensures that your graphics card is going to be running efficiently and make sure it is going to be running to its maximum capabilities. So here we go, installing the drivers, I'll be back once they are installed. So now you can see that our GameForce Ready drivers have been completely installed, everything is done and if you check for updates it should say there are no updates, you have the latest GeForce drivers. So now we can just exit off of this and the all the software side is done so we don't need to do any more of that. We just want to load up Fortnite so quickly click load and I'll be back with you guys once it is loaded. Okay so as you can see Fortnite is now loaded, we want to go into Battle Royale and change up our settings in game. Settings in game can completely, completely change your gameplay experience and absolutely make a difference to your FPS and your gameplay and your lag and the smoothness of your game. So you want to go up to settings, click settings and go to video. As you can see here, the settings I've got right now aren't optimal for many PCs. So I'm going to show you guys the most optimized settings and the best settings for any computer that can definitely run Fortnite. You want to change your window mode to windowed and now you want to put it as full screen. So full screen is the best one. This can increase about 10 to 50 FPS in different areas. It is insane. So always have your game on full screen. It also has a little bit of input delay if you have it on windowed, full screen or windowed. So full screen ensures that you are in the maximum capabilities for your mouse gameplay, your input lag, and your lag in game, so you're going to have way more FPS. Have your display resolution to whatever your monitor is, so my monitor is a 1080p, so I have my monitor as 1080, and I have the display resolution as 1080, so that is obviously the same. You can put the frame limit to unlimited, sometimes I usually cap mine at 144, mainly because I just think it's a bit better to have it capped, so I'm going to have mine capped, 
at 144. You want to have your 3D resolution all the way up to 100%. If not, you can change it down to 87. So I'm going to put it back to, to windowed full screen just for the sake of you seeing it on my OBS. But now it is at windowed full screen, so here we go. We can change this 3D resolution to 87.9, I think it is. 87.9 doesn't really change much of the graphics look, but you can have it as 87.9 and it won't really change much. So yeah, that is probably my favourite choice if I was wanting to get the most FPS out of what I need. So you want to put your view distance at medium, your shadows as off, anti-aliasing at medium, your textures at low, your effects at low, and post-processing at low. Never have V-Sync on. VSync can definitely change your FPS experience, it can stop you from having very good FPS and it can also limit it to 60 FPS and what it does is it stops screen tearing and it will also lock it to what your monitor's hertz is, so always have that as off. Motion blur I like to keep off, show FPS I like to keep on to see what FPS you're getting and have allow video playback as off, so I always have that. And it can say, even says down there, toggles in game video playback which can save performance. So we have that done and that is perfectly done. So now all of our settings are applied and I'm going to show you guys exactly what FPS I'm going to be getting in game. So stay tuned. Okay, so with our settings now applied, we can go into a, let's go into a Playgrounds squad no fill. Just so we can show you what FPS you're getting on a map where there's no more entities and it's only just yourself. So you can get a rough estimate of what FPS you'll be getting when you're actually playing in a normal game and going into a solo and getting all the wins. So as you can see, it's a little bit blurry. But it's not too bad with the display resolution on um, on 87.9. You can change this up to unlimited just to see what average FPS you'll be getting. So I'm going to change that up. And as you can see, I'm getting 200 FPS in the bus. But if I change it now to windowed full screen, I'm going to be getting 160 to 150. And it also increases and goes up and down. So that's why I like to keep mine on full screen. And again, like I said, it get, like, gets rid of input lag. So let's be dropping down as well. And look, perfect 260 FPS while dropping. So as you can see, it is a, a huge port performance increase. And make sure we're not going to get any FPS stutter. And watch when I drop down on my glider. No FPS lag. This is perfect. The FPS is perfectly fine. You usually do get a little bit lower FPS when you're going in the glider. Because it has to load all of the map in. And you're going a lot faster. But when we get down towards the ground, it should bring us back up to about 260 to 300 FPS. So that definitely has changed my FPS a lot. And again, the 87.9 display resolution doesn't really change a lot. And as you can see, look, we're running around 200 FPS perfectly fine. If we cap it at 200, we'll be getting 200 FPS solid. As you can see, it drops down, but that is what FPS does. It accounts for different parts of the map, and obviously the rendering has to render different parts. But on average, we are getting 200 to, well, 180 to 200 FPS. So this guide would 100% sort your computer out and make you be getting Fortnite at the runnest, at the fastest, and the best FPS possible. Thank you guys for watching. My name has been, of course, Jad. If this video was useful, please do hit the like button. Make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications to never miss another Fortnite video that I do upload. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.